Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising weekly tarot and the normal reading for November 5th to November 11th 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a general reading for Capricorn star sign and it is not your personal reading Therefore, um, I will do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But at the end, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Also, I, I want to let you know that the monthly readings are already out, so if you want to check the prospects of uh, your star sign regarding the month of November, feel free to uh, browse those readings down on the same YouTube channel and indulge yourself with them. So, <clears throat> that being said, going to the tarot reading first, four card spread. The first card is about the topic of your Capricorn's week, and this is to be the Hierophant. So the Hierophant points that this week is to be a week of rather deliberations and a uh, week of, uh, yeah, <laughs> I've been saying reek, a uh, week of, uh, how can I place it, of, an of analysis upon what is to come further so it is likely that this week you may start establishing a certain plans or uh, uh, seeking a, um, a, a specific um, reason why a certain predicaments are coming in your way as well. The thing with the Hierophant is that whatever issues you do have, they are to be resolved throughout this week in the framework of the already existing conventions uh, and uh, most likely to be resolved through as well a, a very meaningful conversations. Um, it is not excluded as well that you may kind of participate in a certain therapy here it doesn't have to be psychological one it could be that you will decide to go on a spa center or just you know take a withdrawal take a vacation as well now <clears throat> This is because one needs to follow the natural flow and the natural flow is that you push yourself let's say to the limit and then you take a break you know you take a break then you push yourself to the outer limit. Also the Hierophant here points that throughout this week it is likely that you are to invest yourself in a very meaningful for your criteria, I'm talking about for your criteria undertakings uh, which will have nothing to do with how much money or benefits you are to take from them it's all it all will will be residing upon your system of belief just because you think that uh, what you are to do or what you are to undertake here is the right thing to be done it will be big enough reason for you to invest in it this card points that you are to start building up trust into people around you and as well if we're talking about intimate intimacy here you you are to start finding a a new meaning of what love is right like to expand your um understanding of what love is one way or another and the core of the situation or why this is happening here is the four of pentacles and uh, this this looks like a shaking down of foundations all right uh, because the four of pentacles uh, it's it kind of points to a, 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 a very strong state all right it kind of like a very strong uh, standpoint it points to also a, a defensive position that you have taken here and of course want to provoke any improvement or want to provoke any um, any advance forward needs to step outside of its comfort zone so it is what is to start happening here throughout this week but um, <clears throat> Apart from the majority of the cases, instead of uh, doing it frantically and kind of uh, with a lack of consideration here recklessly, for what it seems you uh, Capricorns are to, are to take a, a very careful approach, very careful examination upon how you can do it. And uh, this is prowling of your um, personal domain and of your uh, personal comfort zone is to happen uh, a very... Um, 
regulated. So it's it, the whole process, it will be highly regulated and it is unlikely that you Capricorns are to uh, provoke any uh, tan tantrums and turmoils throughout the process here. Just on the contrary, for what it seems, every step that you are to take here throughout, um, uh, through, excuse me, uh, um, building up or expanding this comfort zone, it will be very uh, thoroughly um, observed, analyzed and uh, uh, kind of like supported with a, a strong uh, convictions behind it and it will not allow anything bad in general to happen to you, to your family, to your career as well or to your friendships. Uh, the next card that we do have is to show the challenges which are causing predicaments here. This is to be the uh, Knight of Swords and in that specific case the Knight of Swords here points that you will struggle against time. Uh, as I said you are you will prefer to take very peaceful and very methodical slow approach toward how to sprue and expand your environment, your career or your relationship but in the same time the time is going to work against you and it will demand from you to make those swift decisions you know uh, determinate actions etc etc and it really will squeeze your um, frame framework of um, how can I place it? Framework of means, you know, arsenal of means that you can capitalize on. Now very important here is to uh, always consult with your emotions whenever choice it is to be made. And that will come to a challenge to you as well, you know, to do what you think it is, it is beneficial for you rather than a beneficial for the grand scheme of things. I mean, throughout this week, whatever decision you, you need to make needs, needs to fall um, completely into the frame of what you believe is right, right? Here with the Hierophant supported by consulting your emotions when you have the Knight of Swords into a challenging position. So uh, this is the dilemma here that you have to overcome guys. Um, you will want to participate into something while you kind of feel within yourself that this is uh, something wrong to be participated. So that will be the drama, that will be the challenge, that will be the dilemma here. And what you need to do is instead of uh, jumping to, uh, let's say, a temporary happiness, um, or rather you should kind of um, focus yourself upon what is secure for you. A very, I don't know, very um, sound example is the affair thing in one relationship you know you may have the chance to make an affair that could be the person could be someone that you really want here but in the same time this affair does not um, it doesn't have a potential to become a long-lasting relationship so you jeopardize your stability and security in your family over a, a one night thing or maybe a couple of weeks thing all right or uh, if we're talking about career uh, that could be an exterior peripheral project to your career that is um, that is to come and instead of you focusing upon your job you are to give more attitude to that project here or you will feel that you want to give more um, excuse me you will want to give more uh, attitude to that project while you will feel that that is to jeopardize your career and this is the dilemma and drama again so what you need to do here is to focus upon your career you know even though your salary is uh, is lower than uh, than the money you are going to take from that project all right in the long run you are to be more secure at the job that you're working at rather than to be a, a freelancer and the last card that we do have this is to be the um, the guidance which Taro is offering to you we do have the eight of cups so the eight of cups here points that uh, despite at uh, this specific point you have to go against uh, what you want all right. Uh, that doesn't mean that you have to be succumbed to the idea that you are going to go against yourself throughout the entire uh, the entirety of your life. Uh, just on the contrary, this card here asks you as a guidance: it is that you need to have more clamor that the situation is to traverse, and actually this time around, it will align itself and prove itself a very likable 
to your understanding and to your criteria here. So basically, um, in the grand scheme of things, what these cards here are, point, are pointing, guys, that you need to go along with what you previously consciously chosen instead of uh, right now regretting it you know and leaving in leaving it halfway developed true and trying to substitute it with a a different uh with a different undertaking which will prove itself a very short term one uh, one a, a very short lasting one all right and at the end should you succumb yourself to the primal emotion you know of a substitution uh you will kind of like um you know find yourself deprived from even the smallest benefits that you could had that you could have you know excuse me uh, of the uh, long-term prospect of the undertaking that you had consciously chosen in the past and probably the distant past it is what i'm trying here to say so stick to your career stick to your marriage stick to your relationship do not try to substitute them so uh, that was the uh, tarot reading. Now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and see what uh, they are to say for your week. They will show us a uh, event, Capricorns, that you should either uh, look forward to or try to avoid. Now the first card that we do have, this is the cross and the cross stands for suffering, poignancy, despondency and in general finding yourself in not very favorable situation. Then we do have the sickle uh, or the scythe, the scythe uh, stands for cutting, so basically the scythe cuts the next card, renders it... Uh, on, uh, on its contrary. So basically what we do have, we, uh, th this is the garden, the, gun, the garden stands for um, <clears throat> social gatherings, conferency, a social circle as well, and uh, so, uh, uh, so socialization from your behalf, so it's kind of like socializing yourself. So what we do have here is, is that some sort of a despondency here and suffering is to render your capability to, uh, to socialize throughout the week and that could as a matter of fact has something to do with your realization that instead of going for the easy way around which is going to prove itself at that end to uh, push on forward as the long but yet proven way that the things uh, proven way that it is how the things need to be done you know so basically uh, this is another confirmation here trying to because you are not finding yourself in a very um, <clears throat> you know likable situation right now you may try to cut corners and those corners instead of instead of you cutting those corners you are to cut down your wings so just do not do it Capricorns stick to the path that you have chosen previously so that being said, guys, uh, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for um, November 5th to November 11th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, again, this was just a general reading for Capricorn Star Sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, I did here my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Right signing out now. See you next time. Bye.